Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbike.com. You know, families are so busy these days. We're going in so many different directions. Sometimes it's hard to get a home cooked meal on the table. So you can't have too many recipes that are quick and easy that just make putting a food on the table easy. Well, here's another one to add to your arsenal. This is my creamy Italian pasta skillet. To start, I took a pound of ground beef. I cooked that with about a tablespoon of olive oil and one onion that I diced up. If there's any extra grease in the pan, we just drain that away. To this, we're going to add three cloves of minced garlic. Now, I always caution folks about garlic because once you burn garlic, it will give your dish a really bitter flavor and there's no way to go back. So, about a minute is all I ever cook garlic, especially when it's minced like this, just until it's fragrant and then you're ready to move on to your next step. That next step is going to be Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. This is just an Italian blend. Different, different brands have different herbs and spices in it. Just pick your favorite. Now I'm going to add a cup of beef broth. What this does is it helps to deglaze the pan and we get that, those brown bits off of the bottom because that's flavor. It's called fond and there's so much flavor down there, we wanna take the opportunity to get that flavor into our dish. Next, I'm going to add a 24 ounce jar. This is just a plain jarred marinara sauce. Pick your favorite. A lot of flavor comes from this sauce, so make sure that you pick one that you know your family likes. We're just gonna stir this together, reduce to a simmer, and you're gonna cook it uncovered for about 10 minutes until it thickens up. In the interest of time, we're gonna just move right along with it. Next, we're going to add half a cup of heavy cream and one cup of a shredded Italian cheese blend and just stir this together. This is one of those dishes that everybody in my family loves. It reheats well, and you can see just how quickly this all comes together. Once this is all combined and the cheese is melted, you're gonna add in eight ounces of rotini pasta that you cooked according to the package instructions before we started this. You wanna cook it just till they're al dente because we're, they're gonna cook a little bit more once it's in the sauce. And that's it, stir this together Supper is ready. Throw a delicious salad on the table and it's time to eat. Y'all, you can find this full recipe and hundreds more on my website at southernbite.com. Just visit the Simply Southern TV tab right in the menu bar. Y'all enjoy. Stacy shares a funny story on his website about how he developed this recipe. That's right. His wife, Heather, found a recipe on Pinterest that she wanted to try. So they bought all the ingredients, but when it came time to cook, they could no longer find the recipe, so they improvised and came up with this one. That's good news for all of us, though, because now we have this delicious dish that's pretty easy to make, and you can always find Stacy's recipes on his website, southernbite.com. Well, 30 minutes has come and gone again. We hope you'll make plans to join us again next week when we'll feature one of the great products of South Alabama, the famous Slocum Tomato. And we'll tell you how a book about overcoming tough times is helping young people who are in need of a father figure. I'm Kevin Worthington. And I'm Mary Wilson. We'll see you next time. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.